Look at your regional radar outside right now. I will say that as far as severe weather is concerned, as of this very moment, we are not talking about that at all. But as we take a closer look here into the Mid-South over the last two hours, we've really started to see some isolated showers start to develop across the Mid-South. Mostly we are not dry at this very moment. I know that the false echoes are a little bit distracting, but as you can see over into portions of Arkansas, you can see those four little storms that are starting to develop, but it looks like they are going to miss our viewing area. This is a live look outside at 240 and Lamar. It is actually a beautiful night outside right now here in the Mid-South. It's 79 degrees here in Memphis, 84 still in Millington and around 79 down in Hernando. We are in a level one for tonight. I will say that even though our future cast looks a little bit better, not all of us will be into the clear. It looks like North Mississippi, you all will be staying dry overnight. But as we get north of I-40 and portions of West Tennessee, some strong pockets of thunderstorms are definitely possible. I think heavy rainfall and maybe high winds will be our main concern. But as we head into that 3 and 4 a.m. hour where we thought we would be seeing another batch of stronger thunderstorms, that looks much better. That looks just like maybe normal rainfall. And as we head into the 6 a.m. hour for your Wednesday morning, that even looks better as well and maybe some light showers at best. As we head through the rest of your morning for Wednesday, we'll start to see some isolated showers kind of popping up across West Tennessee, but that's not the severe weather that we're monitoring. What we are monitoring will be Wednesday night going into your Thursday morning. 11 p.m. We start to see some of these isolated thunderstorms really starting to populate, but that's not the main portion of this line. What we are anticipating is widespread rainfall, high winds, thunderstorms, and unfortunately, we cannot rule out a possibility for a tornado. I will say that all of us here in the Mid-South will be getting some heavy rainfall at some portion throughout the night tomorrow and into your Thursday morning. But as we head into Thursday afternoon, it will be a completely different weather story where it will be dry and a little bit cooler. I will say that we are in a level three and a level two for tomorrow. So it's very important that you are weather aware overnight. Charge your phones in advance. Make sure you have multiple ways to get notifications, especially if you sleep hard throughout the night. Here's a look at some storm threats for you. 50 plus mile an hour winds, a few tornadoes, unfortunately, large hail and heavy rainfall will be our main threat as we head into the overnight hours for Wednesday. Never forget to download our app. It is completely free and you can watch us live if you lose power power and cannot watch TV. Here's a glass seven day forecast 85 degrees for tomorrow, but that's just part of the weather storm. What we are still remaining and still watching are those strong, severe thunderstorms that will be coming Wednesday night into your Thursday. Temperatures will be falling as we head into this weekend. I will say that it looks mostly dry after Wednesday throughout this next seven day stretch. Temperatures into the low to mid 70s, which is slightly below average. But as we head into your Mother's Day weekend, we're looking really nice here in the mid south. Yeah.